Ooh, finally, after a long day, I can sit down and play some solo battles. Gotta get top 100, try to get those good rewards. Been slacking for a while. <sighs> Let's get into it, I guess. Same old solo battles. Cover zero blitzes on defense. Throwing it up on offense every play. Same old, same old. But, you know, the rewards are too good, so let's do it. Oh, you're going to throw it up and test Lattimore in the first play? That wasn't very smart. Good job, Marshawn. You know, I wonder, when is Madden going to do another update? Seems like it's been a while. Seems like we're kind of due for an update soon. Oh, look, nothing's open. That's great. We're just going to take off Drew Brees. I mean, he's like 74 speed, which isn't that bad. Shout out to Team Kims. Got my little speed up. Look at Drew Brees hurtling. Don't get injured out there, big guy. Why do I still have Julian Edelman on my team? I mean, I know he's a 99 overall and all, but he isn't really that great. I should probably quick sell him and get that 500k. I don't know. Just kind of seems useless. Oh, look. Tyreek Hill's open. Tyreek Hill's always open, though. That's what 99 speed will do for you. Wait, what? A new update? What's going on, everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the new update for Madden 19. So, as you know, throughout the year, we have gotten tons of updates it's you know pretty consistent usually monthly we get something new to the game whether it be gameplay whether it be you know across the board whether it be ultimate team you name it we've gone through so many updates this year some good some bad today is the latest one so let's get right into it today's update is going to focus on madden ultimate team now this is the new series 5 updates kind of like if you're familiar with fortnite and kind of how they have seasons well that's kind of what mutt has now so as you're going to see we have tons of new stuff one of the biggest things that's new to the game is basically kind of uh this team builder promo so basically what we have here is you can build your dream squad um there's a lot to cover so try to you know follow along with me here so what we're going to do is first we're going to go check out the new cards that are in the game or the new content so we have what's called team builders and team MVP now if you remember at the beginning of the year we had team diamonds and they gave you times three chemistry to your team and that was useful for when you wanted to build theme teams like me I have mostly an all saints team because I'm a saints fan a lot of people have become you know big on theme teams this year so now Madden has kind of or EA has put a promo in to kind of help with this so we have team MVPs for each team now there's only 20 in the game right now only the teams that didn't make the playoffs so within the next week, we're going to get the playoff teams. They're going to get their team MVPs as well. So they're kind of rolling it out. Now you're going to see like each each team has their team MVP. The Bengals have Joe Mixon. The Browns have Joel Boltonio. So on and so forth. You can see these are the offensive ones. Now if you click on one of these sets, each team also has team builders. So you can see the Bengals have a bunch of new cards that are team builders. And you put those in the set along with other cards throughout the year so you see there's, there's this flashback aj green there's this flashback tyler eifert there's a team of the week Andy dalton and then you put some tokens in here and you can get joe mixon now the reason this is big is because the team mvps also have times three team kim just like the team diamonds did and the team builders have times two or at least the high-end guys have times two you could see that the 94 and the 93 overall they have times two Bengals kim the other guys just have one now this is big because this makes it easy to max out the team chemistry to get 50 out of 50 on your team which gives you times three speed boost which is really like the big thing people are after so you can see if you go in you're gonna have all these team builders Joel Boltonio is gonna give you times three Kevin Zietler I believe is how you say his name will give you times two and Nick Chubb will also give you times two so each team is gonna have three of these cards that have you know times two or times three teams Kim on them so that's a really big thing EA finally put that in the game as you can see here are the um, we have the defensive guys got Jerry Hughes Von Miller Pierre Paul but they Xavier Howard and these are all 97 overalls now like I said later in the um, in ne next week the, the, the playoff teams are gonna get theirs as well so we go to the auction house here and you can see if you want to sort through these guys and just buy them off the auction house you go to program and we have you have the team builders and the team MVP so team builders you can just go and then you sort them by team so we'll just say uh, Falcons they did their team didn't make the playoffs so and you can see every team is gonna have you know there's gonna they're gonna have guys that are in the like mid to low 90s and then they're gonna have some high 80s guys and then you're gonna have some mid 80s guys and 
These are all guys that you can put on your team to help build your theme teams. That's really the point of this program is to make it pretty much final that you can easily get 50 out of 50 on your team, Kims, which has been hard to do for most teams so far because there's not a guy at every position. So you need those times two and times three abilities. So you see like Trufant here, he'll give you times two for your Falcons, Kim, and that's going to help you out. Now also, if you go to Team MVPs, this is where you can just look at all the Team MVPs. So Julio Jones is for the Falcons, of course. We can just go to all here. They're going to all be 97 overalls. And there's just, I mean, there's a lot of really good cards here. If you go and look through their stats, I mean, you've got you've got great pass rushers. You've got great wide receivers. You've got great safeties. You've got a lot of offensive linemen. So if you've been looking to kind of beef up your O-line, might be a good promo to do that with. But here you see Harrison Smith, 97 co zone coverage, 92 speed, 91 hit power. Really good with chemistry. You can easily get him to 99 zone coverage. So that's a great, you know, in-game free safety for you. You got Josh Norman, who's needed to upgrade decent speed. Again, you could easily get him to 99 zone coverage. So there's a lot of good cards here. Like I said, a lot of good linemen, especially Kenny Galladay, one of the best receivers in the game now. Fast, great route running, great catching stats. So a lot of good cards with this promo that comes with Series 5. But now let's get further in to Series 5. So we'll go to the sets. We'll go look at the uh, Series 5 set. So you know each, each time they do a new uh, Series update, you get, you get the new set. So we have the Master, Micah Hyde. Really good safety. He's got good speed, good zone, or great zone coverage. Uh, really good man coverage for safety as well. You can get the auctionable version or the nat version. And then, of course, you have your sets that you put your trophies into. Um, your 88 to 91 player, your 92 to 94 player. And, of course, you can get your Coach Madden collectible and keep upgrading him. Although I feel like at this point... You don't really need to keep upgrading Coach Madden because with all the chemistries and stuff in the game, most people on your team are already maxed out. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's a few people on your team he could still help, but for the most part, most of your big name guys are maxed out. They have 99 where, you know, it's necessary. So, along with that comes new solo challenges. We got a brand new uh, journey solo. It's called Are We There Yet? 84 uh, challenges so not too crazy not as bad as some of the other ones like the first one I think was like 170 the second one was like 100 this one isn't as bad you're gonna get coins obviously you can see like 13,000 coins here 8,000 coins here about another 10 there about another 11 there so coin wise not too crazy but you're gonna get some packs you're gonna get two gold premium packs here you're gonna get uh, some other packs you're gonna get like an elite player or a clutch pack here and then in the end you're gonna get a Le'Veon Bell who's been needing an upgrade, you get a 95 overall Le'Veon Bell, but it's, what's really good about this Le'Veon Bell is you can put any team chemistry on him, because technically he's, we know he's going to another team, we know he's not resigning with the Steelers, so EA kind of did a cool thing, they put him in as the reward, but you can put any team chemistry on him, so that kind of makes him usable for everybody, um, which is pretty cool, and we also got a level cap increase to level 80, now mine's at 70 and it says I'm maxed, but there is a level cap increase going all the way up to 80 now. Um, when you get to 80, you're going to get a 94 to 95 overall power-up pass. Along the way, you're going to get some good rewards like some Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. You're going to get, uh, I think at two different parts, you're going to get like a bunch of training. Like 4,000 or 5,000 training, something like that. So, all the way up to level 80 is, is pretty cool. People, people love the level cap increases. And with that means Ricky Williams is now going up as well. Now, most people's Ricky Williams are already pretty souped up. Mine's a 98 overall just off chemistries alone. But as you're going to see if we go into his thing now, you can see that you can upgrade him all the way up to a 97 overall. But on most of you guys' teams, once you upgrade him to 97, he's going to be a 99 with chemistries and things like that. But you can see... As it goes all the way up, his awareness is going up. His speed, obviously, is going to go up. You're going to get another chemistry ability slot as well with him, which is going to be good, so you can put dual uh, abilities on him. Uh, you know, his route running is going to go up. Agility is going to go up. Catching is going to go up. Break tackle is going to be at a 95. Carrying a 96. So Ricky Williams is, after you pretty much get him all the way up to, you know, his max here, he's pretty much going to be back to being the best running back in the game although I still feel like he's been the best running back in the game they have released some other good running backs but I still think Ricky is like right there but after this increase he's going to pretty much be there as well so that's pretty much it for the series 5 update really good I, I, I really like the team MVP and team builders promo because like as you can see if I go into my team right now and you look off to the right 
you're going to see that I have my Saints chemistry is 41 out of 50. I would like to get that to 50, but there's just certain spots that's kind of hard to make that happen. But now with this new promo, it, it might be a little bit easier for me because I can have a couple of times two guys in there, another guy that's times three, and I can boost you know my thing up and maybe get it to about 50. I might have to make a few adjustments. But for a lot of people that are in the theme teams and trying to build up their squad, this is an awesome promo for that. And um, like I said, um, Series 5 as a whole added a lot of new stuff. One last thing is uh, we do have new currency in the game as well, which is called Scout. So if you've been playing for the past few months, you've seen the different currency. You know, at Christmas we had snow, Super Bowl promo, we had Super Bowl rings. Now we have what's called Scouts. Um, all of the team builders and team MVPs, I believe, quick sell for these Scouts. You're going to be able to earn them other ways too as well. And... If you go to the uh, the Scouts tab, you're going to see there's there's ways you can redeem them. You can get a random 97 overall player. You can get a Nat 97 overall player. Obviously, you have the lower overall guys. So if you want to like kind of try your luck on some of these and, you know, try to pull a higher card and make more Scouts back, it's kind of like the risk reward of it. A lot of people will do that. Um, there's also new packs in the store, of course. You have the, the Team Builder pack and, and things of that nature. So... <laughs> Whoops, almost forgot one of the biggest things in Series 5 is that the Muttmaster Ryan Shazier is finally getting an upgrade all the way up to 99 overall. Going to be a pretty sick card. The way you're going to be able to upgrade him is by getting uh, some more of those upgrade tokens. So winning 150 games will get you a token. Winning 5 games at a 95 plus overall will give you another token. Also, when you reach Mutt level 80, you get another token. And when you complete 25 daily objective lists, You'll get another token and get him all the way up to a 99 overall. He's going to be stock at this with 94 speed, 98 hit power, 91 zone coverage. And with all the chemistries and boosts, um, you're probably going to see a lot of people running around with a 98 speed Shazier with 95 zone coverage, 99 hit power. He's going to be really crazy, but it's about time that he got that upgrade. So that is also included in the new Series 5 update. <laughs> Uh, Series 5 off to a great start. Really looking forward to see uh, the playoff teams come into the mix next week, especially my team, see what cards we get. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.